It's true that the turn-based style is most popular among indie developers, especially those that seek to bring back the atmosphere of the old classics. However, there are also plenty of AAA companies that put their trust in the traditional, more tactical and strategic mechanics. And today I'm going to show you 10 AAA most anticipated team-based games of 2022. But before starting, please remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through a member program and Patreon page. Lots of perks and mystery box awaits you. Anyway, let's go! should be upstairs. Soldiers incoming, pull back. Stop! There is nowhere to go! Pull back! Pull back! Jagged Alliance franchise goes all the way back to 1995. The first installations are classics. A band of mercenaries is thrown into a world of revolts and dictatorships to overthrow the despotic regimes. With chances stacked up against them, it's not just with brute force and loyal assault rifle that they complete their missions, but with tactics and planning, as well as with good business management. Ugh, that hurt. The series has some rough bumps along the road with plenty of setbacks and mixed receptions. Still, there's always hope that the developers will create the style and the atmosphere of the early games, but with modern graphics and user interface. Jagged Alliance will come soon on PC. Choices give rise to conflict. Will those decisions lead to... Triangle strategy looks to be another take on the ever-popular Final Fantasy tactics-like gameplay. In fact, it's been made by Square Enix and the same dev behind Bravely Default and Octopath Traveler. To the one place I cannot follow. All of this should be familiar to any follower of the JRPG gen. With such an impressive repertoire, it's hard to expect anything below the usual quality. The mechanics shouldn't be too different from a traditional grid-based tactical gameplay, and maybe we can assist to a true successor to the Final Fantasy Tactics saga. Deep, branching story. 
bring the scales. Your choice is Triangle strategy is expected on the 4th of March 2022 on Nintendo Switch. Where will your convictions lead you? Flames consume you! A tactical RPG that will challenge your conviction. There can only be one way forward. Peggy 16. Death is like the winter chill. No door can keep it from us. And so. Warhammer Fantasy is a legend, it's a grim dark atmosphere mixing Tolkien's monumental works with Lovecraft, Eldritch Horrors and more Cook's Realm of Chaos, even today stands out among a thousand other worlds and settings. The original board game was first released during the 80s, since then the universe has been expanded and detailed to such a degree as to rival even those amazing worlds that have inspired it. To combine the Total War epic world style with that brutal and fantastic setting is a titanic task in terms of graphics, programming and design. However, if done correctly, it's a recipe for success. The first two games were done right and were incredibly well received as a result. Now, now, when the engine is done, it's more up to the storytellers, musicians and artists to ensure that the next installation does not disappoint. Considering the previous success, though, it's hard to expect anything less grandiose. Before going toe to toe with an exalted bloodthirster. Concerning the mechanics, if you ever played a Total War game, you know what it's like. The best example offered the turn-based, deeply strategic and detailed overworld with real-time combat on vast and beautifully designed battlefields. Imagine the same though, but with hordes of orcs, legions of undead and mighty sorcerers of chaos raining death and ruin upon the mortal armies. That's basically War Armor Total War for you, and also giant rats with mashing guns. When the humans invented hyperdrive, it opened up all of Orion's spur to exploration. Classic Tumbe's 4X strategy series Galactic Civilizations started in 2003 and has consistently achieved very favorable reception with each of its three titles. The setting and the art style are as old as science fiction itself. The mechanics strongly remind of some of the most well-known games in the genre. If you played Master of Orion, you know what to expect. It's the same general idea, but very well executed. The previous games look polished, add unique and interesting features and do seems to attempt to build on top of the classic gameplay. If you like deep strategic games with plenty of exploration, diplomacy, conquest and base building, then you'll definitely want to keep an eye on Galactic Civilization 4, already available in early access on Epic Games. Sophie! Amari so go to Korobimasu yo! The next game on this list is another installation in a series that started in 1997. The original games were primarily targeting the Japanese audience, though recent times titles were adapted for release in other countries. The franchise contains 22 games, of all of which share similar mechanics, in addition to numerous side games. The basic gameplay appears to be the same for the most part. It's a mix of fairly traditional JRPG with some puzzles. The story is about gathering ingredients and combining them during one of these puzzle sequences to create better equipment and such. The game sold very well and generally had great reception both in Japan and in the West, so if you like traditional JRPGs with some unique side mechanics on top, you shouldn't be disappointed. <laughs> How long was I in that crypt? 
No more than a few centuries. I have to admit, still don't know what to think Until about now. Marvel's Midnight Suns, but as a Marvel fan and a super lover of XCOM games, I can only be super excited for the next effort from Firaxis guys. We got a lot of work to do. However, it doesn't seem like the game is just going to be an XCOM with Marvel heroes. The game involves some card mechanics that can be compared to Slay the Spy. Still, team-based games are difficult to get right, requiring careful balancing and pacing. It may be somewhat too early to say how the game will turn out, but it's certainly intriguing to follow its progress. has been shattered. Through the dark rifts, the horrible creatures of chaos invade the once peaceful and happy world. Can the heroes put an end to the nightmare and restore the rule of the order? No, I didn't mix up the game's description, it's not a new title for Games Workshop. Instead, Nintendo has decided to bring together two very different universes, that of Mario and Rapids, whatever these are. The setting is certainly interesting, however, ignoring the somewhat unusual aesthetics, the game is still the same Mario style adventure. The players can expect all the standard mechanics and features of the genre, with plenty of puzzles and unique areas. If you like the other similar works by Nintendo, you probably enjoy this one as well. Any follower of classic role-playing games should know the name Larian. The Divinity series has been going strong since 2002. The early titles are some of the purest and most polished examples of action RPGs. While the latter extremely well-received works offer a captivating and unique take on the turn-based tactical RPG style. However, the original Baldur's Gate and its sequel have become some of the most acclaimed RPG in history. They are classics and some of the greatest examples of a traditional Dungeons and Dragons campaign implemented on a computer screen. Is Larian Studios up to the task of resurrecting the legend? Well, I think that if there's one company that can do it, it's them. Just as anyone interested in classic RPGs should be familiar with Larian, so should every follower of real-time strategy gen No Relic Entertainment. The company is one responsible for the famous Warhammer Dawn of War, one of the most faithful representations of Grim Dark Future in computer games. This time, however, the developer has decided to add something new to the formula. Company of Heroes 3 features a detailed team-based overworld in a classic wargame style complementing its real-time battlefields. The game takes place during World War II, the emphasis however is not on large brutal campaigns of the Eastern Front, but on a more tactical and skirmish-like approach of the Western forces. This video ends here, let me know what you think about these 10 promising games in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through our member program and Patreon page. Lots of perks and mystery box awaits. Wish you the best, ciao!